It's another I Do Notes podcast. I want to show you some of the new enhancements inside of Lotus Live, some of their application integration that they've provided, how it functions, and we'll start with Skype on this one. As you can see, this is the dashboard for Lotus Live. If you haven't, well, welcome. This is actually your dashboard where you first log in. What I want to show you there right away is inside the settings, inside your company account is where you actually provision the applications that show down in the bottom left. So as you see, we have Skype and Tungle and Vondel. Already, it's substantiated inside the environment. But inside the company account, you'll bring it up. You'll go into the integrated apps on the left-hand side. And from there, you're going to see a page of all the possible integrated apps that they currently offer for Lotus Live. I went ahead and enabled a few of them because once you click enable, there's actually a provisioning stage that takes place. So if it's not provisioned yet, we couldn't instantly click and go and actually utilize the application. You'll have to wait a period of time. Uh, it actually took about, well, I think it took about a day and a half to get accomplished when I click the enabled button. You can also specify what users are able to get the application. So you can provision it for certain people if you want to. So as you see, I have Skype, I have it enabled, I have it enabled for all current users. So the best way to see Skype and how it interacts is to go into your people and go into your own contacts and take a look. We're gonna use Ed as one of our test victims here. By default, if I click someone, I'm gonna get some information about Ed, his email address, what his title is that he's put in there, any tags that I've assigned to him, whether we're contacts or not. Uh, you'll notice there is no Skype action meeting from down here, which is interesting. You know, I can get to it from uh, inside of Tungle has it, but there's no Skype action here, which I'd love to see a Skype action here. So if I go into the actual edit mode for Ed, you'll then see the Skype name field. Now, something about this, it does not pull your Skype contact list for you automatically. There is no magical way that this works. I would have loved to have seen a way that you authenticate via an API and actually bring your contact list in and match it up to the profiles. So guess what you have to do? Yes, it's all manual. So you'll edit, you'll find a new Skype name field, and there you have it. You type in their Skype name. I'm using Ed because it's not really a secret at all. Uh, so that way there's no conflict of anyone out there. You can see the Tungle integration is there. Propose a meeting. Right away, if I click that, it's going to go out and try to do a meet with me for the Tungle integration. But for the Skype name, you have to manually type it in. Now, something else I've noticed is once I save or cancel and go back out to the main view that's missing, and hopefully you did as well, is that there's nowhere that it shows the Skype awareness inside of here. So really, you're just a click-to-call Skype integration is all this is. I'm not bringing in their phone book. I'm not bringing in information. I'm not bringing in a contact. I'm not seeing awareness. I'm not seeing presence. Uh, I'd love to see that he's offline, online. I'd love to see the ability to click from here in the contacts view to do it. But the idea is that once you start building out your network, you're going to have a lot of effort keeping up and adding Skype names as you grow. So what I suggest for everyone to do is go ahead and get your Test Lotus Live account. Uh, fire up the applications, see how they function for you, what you can do, and we'll take a look at some of the other ones on another I Do Notes podcast shortly.